Hello friends, welcome to Insights I Can Initiative. In today's video, we are going to discuss about Mahatma Gandhi Ji. By the way, to all of you, happy Gandhi Jayanti and happy Lal Bahadur Shastri Jayanti as well. Today, in the entire nation, we are celebrating the birth anniversary of true legend personalities, of course, across the world as well. Now, before we discuss about further, first we will do the syllabus mapping and the video components. Of course, Lal Bahadur Shastri requires the separate content. So, we are going to discuss about Lal Bahadur Shastri, Shastri Ji in the another video. In this video, we will confine to Mahatma Gandhi Ji alone. So, now, so without any further delay, let us do the syllabus mapping. This particular thing is related to both current affairs as well as gender studies paper 1. That is modern history and significant personalities. In this video components, we are going to cover why this is in news. You know that the entire nation as well as international organizations such as UNO, they are observing Gandhiji birth anniversary. So we are discussing because of that. And we all know that what kind of a great contributions was were made by Gandhiji in terms of our Indian national movement. Then we will discuss about Mahatma Gandhiji early life. Then principles of Mahatma Gandhiji such as Satyagraha, non-violence, and Mahatma Gandhiji's activity in South Africa. You all know that Mahatma Gandhiji returned to India on 9th January 1915. On the remembrance of the day, we are celebrating the Pravas Bharati Divas as well. Next, after Gandhiji returned to India, what kind of activities he was involved in, such as establishing the Shabarmati Ashram and Champaran Satyagraha, Keda Satyagraha, Ahmedabad Milstag, before he was going to the Mass Satyagraha, that was regarding the, you know, like Raulat Act. Then we will discuss about Gandhiji's social work and some of the organizations established by Gandhiji's related to social work. Then we will discuss about Mahatma Gandhiji's legacy. Okay, That means, who are the popular leaders inspired by Mahatma Gandhiji? Meanwhile, put your answer students, what is the autobiography of Mahatma Gandhiji? What is the autobiography of Mahatma Gandhiji? Now let's see. And of course, these are the some of the principles followed by Gandhiji. Satyagraha, non-violence, Swadeshi and mass movement. Gandhiji was the first person who was able to bring masses onto the streets that you, are, that you have to remember, even women also. And Satyagraha, by searching for truth, okay, by telling the truth, even you can convince whoever the people oppressing you, that is the Gandhiji's philosophy. And not following the violence. Okay through non-violence only. You know that because of the violence caused by Chauri Chaura incident only, Gandhiji stopped this non-cooperation movement in 1922 and encouraging the Swadeshi goods, Swadeshi movement. As a part of that, Gandhiji was very popular for the spinning wheel, Swadeshi goods. So why it is in news? It is in news because on 2nd October 2023, this year and every year, obviously we are celebrating the birth anniversary of Mahatma Gandhiji. This year we are celebrating the 154th birth anniversary of Mahatma Gandhiji, who considered as father of nation. Tell me students, who given the title Mahatma to Gandhiji? Who given the title? As well as, who called Mahatma Gandhiji as father of nation? Put your answer in comments. Okay, now we will see. Mahatma Gandhiji earlier life. Mahatma Gandhiji born on 2nd October 1869 in Gujarat the present state of Gujarat and he was before he came to India he, he studied law in England later he came back to India again he went to South Africa to practice law so by profession Gandhiji was a lawyer and politician he involved in active politics such as even he elected as you know like president of INC that uh, INC meeting even it was happened in 1924 Belgaum 1924 social activist demanded for the temple entry movement and uh, uh, he fought against the untouchability he was a popular writer also and later he became the leader of the Indian nationalism apart from that Mahatma Gandhiji is still relevant in India as father of nation brief profile regarding the Satyagraha in South Africa between 1893 to 19, 1915 in 1915 Mahatma Gandhiji returned to India during this time Gandhiji successfully fought against the racial discrimination in South Africa racial discrimination was much prevalent you know that because of the racial discrimination only South African cricket team also was banned from international 
uh, one day cricket matches of course tests also there he followed popular methods such as satyagraha and mass movements 15th Jan june 2007 un general assembly unanimously adopted a resolution that every year 2nd october will be observed as international day of non violence this is also one of the greatest achievement to india returned to india gandhi ji returned to india from south africa on 9th january 1915 and we are remembering the day as pravas bharati divas uh, yesterday also i explained to you regarding the citizenship did you remember uh, nris nris are nothing but pravas bharatis gandhi ji peace prize generally we award to the people who are working in social economic and political uh, political areas and transforming those areas through non violence gandhi ji was been assassinated unfortunately like by nathuram garse on 30 january 1948 actually at the time of independence gandhi ji was not happy because gandhi ji did not expected the country to be partitioned on the religion basis that is what gandhi ji's opinion and next satyagraha satyagraha is all about the finding truth and by revealing the truth you should able to convince whoever oppressing you in the through non violence okay at one point of time whoever oppressing you they will realize the truth and they will also convince with your non violence and one day you will get liberation so gandhi ji mainly believed in terms of satyagraha as well as non violence so so ultimately truth will triumph truth will win regarding the mahatma gandhi ji's effort in south africa you know students because of the mahatma gandhi ji's effort in south africa he was given the you know like kaiser e hind award as well if you remember if you know gandhi ji given up kaiser e hind award in response to which incident put your answer in comments in 1893 gandhi ji witnessed extreme racial segregation you know like suppression in south africa on the invitation of few people he went to south africa in 1894 he planned he helped to indians to fight against south african government that means of course it was ruling by britishers and europeans to fight against what to fight against the discrimination done by the south african government he was strongly opposing the discriminatory practices by the government to fight against that kind of government he established the natal indian congress to unite the indians over there 1906 he organized the civil disobedience movement in south africa in response to what south african government they introduced a rule that is every uh, you know like uh, every other person who is from other country they have to carry the uh, identification letter with them which including the thumbnail that means they started seeing other country people as a second grade citizens especially that was based on the race he started two settlements to support indians one is a phoenix settlement the other in durban the other one is a tolstoy settlement in johannesburg there he used to train people in his ideology such as satyagraha as well as non violence his first notable resistance fought against government it was against the law passed by the government like i said earlier making and carrying compulsory carrying papers or certificates of registration where their identity should be there and the fingerprints also should be there gandhi ji opposed this through passive resistance by forming various associations later government was forced to withdraw as well that was 1910 gandhi ji set up tolstoy farm where he can trained in 1911 do you remember students 1911 in that year king george v coronation was happened in the same year in response to the coronation of to celebrate the coronation of king george v in 1911 delhi darbar was held in the delhi darbar itself they announced the you know like a shift of capital from calcutta to delhi and cancelling the partition of bengal and in the same year 1911 they also announced that okay so this kind of uh, uh, this you know like uh, whatever the practices against the indians that is going to be abolished so 1911 was very crucial where capital shift was announced and bengal partition also cancelled 1911 in the same year gopal krishna gokhale as a state gift guest he and went to south africa where he got a chance to get introduced to gandhi ji and gandhi ji was much influenced by Gop- gopal krishna gokhale there is a reason gandhi ji considers gopal krishna gokhale as his political guru 1913 
Gandhiji organized various movements against the discriminatory laws passed by the South Africa, such as at that time South Africa government uh, was strictly saying that every marriage ritual must be according to the Christian religion only. If any marriage is not following the Christian religion, then their marriage will be invalid. Against that kind of practices also Gandhiji uh, done lot of movements. Next, Gandhiji returned to India in 1915. Obviously, on the invitation of Gopal Krishna Gokhale, that invitation was forwarded to Gandhiji through C.F. Andrews, popularly known as Dinabandhu. On, in, on the invitation of the Gopal Krishna Gokhale, again Gandhiji returned to India and from there onwards we popularly call as Gandhian phase from 1915 to 1947. Before Gandhiji started the mass movement, on the advice of Gopal Krishna Gokhale, Gandhiji started visiting the entire country to understand what people are demanding. So, in 1960, Gandhiji established Shabarmati Ashram. Shabarmati Ashram and he started journey across the nation. 1916. Then 1917, correction here, 1917, he went to Bihar and he organized the Champaran Satyagraha against the British orders of cultivating the blue dye against the wish and will, will of the farmers. Then in 1918, he organized the Keda Satyagraha and Ahmedabad mill strike. Keda Satyagraha is all about. Already the farmers were suffering due to, you know, like drought. On top of that, government was asking more tax from the farmers. In support of farmers, he organized Keda Satyagraha. Ahmedabad mill strike is all about. The mill workers, that did not increase the wage of the workers. This mill management. Because of that, these mill workers, they organized protest. Gandhiji supported them. That was the Ahmedabad mill strike. Later, actually in this 1918, even the World War I was also ended. After World War I ended, Britishers introduced the Rawlath Act in 1919. According to Rawlath Act, British officer can arrest any Indian without, without any reason and they can be imprisoned for two years without introduced before the court. That is very, very important. Actually, to prevent that kind of discrimination, after we drafted the constitution, we had, we, we, you know, like introduced provisions such as Article 22, Clause 2, okay, prevention against Ill illegal arrest. In 1999, this kind of Rawlath Act was came. Gandhiji organized protest against this Rawlath Act. Gandhiji was arrested. You know that in that time, few people organized their, you know, like their protest in Jalian Walabag in Amritsar that resulted to Jalian Walabag incident. In response to that, Gandhiji given up his Kaiser Hind title and Ravindranath Tagore also given up his knight knighthood. In the same year, 1919, Gandhiji organized, okay, Gandhiji organized, he presided, he presided over the Calcutta, Calcutta meeting in Congress. Later, in the same year, Nagpur session of the Congress in 1920, Congress made a resolution regarding the non-cooperation Khilafat movement. At that time, All India Muslim League was also, they are fighting against the British because British has abolished the Khalifa post after the World War I. You know that after the World War I, Treaty of Versailles was made between the winning as well as losing sides. Losing side was Turkey. And they abolished the Khalifa post because of that, Muslims in India also, they were revolting against British. So, Khilafat movement merged into non-cooperation movement and it continued for two years. It was stopped because of the Chauri Chaura incident, which, uh, res which resulted into violence. After that, this non-cooperation movement stopped. Gandhiji mainly focused on the social activities. Okay, till when? Till the Simon Commission was formed. Simon Commission was formed in 1927 and visited to India in 1928. We given a slogan of Simon Go Back. Britishers challenged us, and we responded to the challenge by going for the Nehru report in 1928 itself. But they did not consider the Nehru report. In response to that, Congress called for the Purna Swaraj in Lahore session in 1929. So, Gandhiji, next year, in response to this as well, Gandhiji launched the civil disobedience movement in 1930 from Shabarmati Ashram to Dandi. That march was started on 12th March and ended in 6th April. The civil disobedience movement, Dandi March, Dandi Salt March. Britishers were fried. They tried to call Congress for the first round table conference. Congress boycotted that. And Gandhiji attended the second round table conference after the Gandhi Irwin Pact in 1931. Of course, after attending the second round table conference, Gandhiji not satisfied. He launched the civil disobedience movement again in 1932. Gandhiji was arrested. He kept in jail. 
in jail there was an agreement reached between the gandhi ji and ambedkar that is known as pune pact that agreement was in result of what in result of the communal award communal award is all about providing the separate electorate to sc st that was severely opposed by gandhi ji i explained this 1931 gandhi irwin pact 1934 after 1932 then 1934 1935 gandhi ji was much focused on the social work again gandhi ji came into active congress politics in 1936 with a lakno session in 1938 tripuri session there was a kind of ideological rift between the gandhi ji and subhash chandra bose regarding the inc president gandhi ji supported okay gandhi ji supported pattabi sita ramayya and subhash chandra bose own on pattabi sita ramayya that after that gandhi ji slowly uh, moved away from the active participation or active uh, you know like uh, uh, activities of the congress next during the world war 2 1939 to 1945 britishers tried to gain support of indians to do to do that in 1940 they announced the august declaration okay of course okay august offer sorry august declaration in 1917 august offer we declared that in 1942 they sent crips mission but crips mission unable to give any guarantees rather than that it tried to increase the communal disturbance in india in response to that gandhi ji rejected the crips mission gandhi ji described crips mission as a post dated check after that you know that wevel plan and uh, you know, mount batten partition plan we india got independence pakistan got independence gandhi ji was completely against this kind of uh, division on the communal lines okay this is about gandhi ji's key role in the national movement then gandhi ji's social work gandhi ji f- worked very hard for the upliftment of untouchables and gandhi ji gave a new word to this you know like uh, untouchables that is harijan meaning child of god for the protection of these people rights even there was a you know like pune pact was made between the gandhi ji and b r ambedkar already i told you gandhi ji symbol is all about the self reliance that is the spinning wheel and gandhi ji always opposed the hindu muslim fights he founded hindustani prachar sabha in 1942 to promote the hindustani language which is a mixture of hindi as well as urdu social and books written by gandhi ji hind swaraj my experiment with truth autobiography newspapers harrison in gujarati indian opinion in south africa young india in english mahatma gandhi legacies mahatma gandhi inspired so many people the word mahatma this this word given to mahatma gandhi ji by rabindranath tagore and subhash chandra bose described gandhi ji as father of nation people like nelson mandela martin luther king these are the people they are highly influenced by gandhi ji's work and gandhi ji's principles which he followed during the indian national movement so this is about the gandhi ji's uh, role in national movement gandhi ji's role in social life gandhi ji's literary works now we'll see the yesterday's videos mcq answers the jhelum river originate in where pirpanjal range jhelum river next mount semuru volcano it is located in where indonesia next cr triple io for god initiative creo for god initiative recently in news related to what life skills learning module in the context of india defense system prachand related to attack helicopter can say the following statement regarding the burkina faso regarding it it is a republic with a president system of government presidential form of government it is in news recently burkina faso of course now we'll see today's video question what is the correct chronological order of the movement led by gandhi ji these are the four uh, options were there and try to pick which one is right in terms of the gandhi ji movement and chronological order main question gandhi ji's vision and philosophy encompasses included human rights as well as sustainable development discuss how do you support your argument now as we reach to the end of this video we will do the quick revision in this video we mainly discussed about gandhi ji's early life gandhi ji's activity in south africa gandhi ji's activity in india gandhi ji's role in the indian national movement then so gandhi ji's literary work gandhi ji's principles and gandhi ji's okay legacy who inspired by gandhi ji 
This is the detailed analysis regarding the brief overview of Gandhi's and contribution.